Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Hoof prints. But a bipeds. Flowers here as well, but they've been picked. Every last one. Footprints. Some fresh, others faded. All leading in the same direction. Oh, no, no. Oh, stop. Please. Haha. <laughs> Oh, this is great. No, no, stop. Please. Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> Two can play this game, you horny goat woman. Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramond, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. Nonsense. I need no spell. These boys come here themselves. In fact, I must use magic to drive them away, make them go home. Only Ramond was nice, so I let him stay. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster! I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches. Especially not out of gratitude. Tell me why not. Is it the scars? I detest when a man smells of blood. You witches always reek of it. Fiend blood, trot blood, and these are my brethren. You're right. But unlike fiends and chorts, you... Have ample breasts and a pretty face? I know. Their lack of these attributes, is that what makes them easy to kill? It's a bit more complicated than that. But never mind. No means no, I get it. I can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramond, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Uh, indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, pinkups, pimpernels. 
That's it, Roach. Show me what you got.
bit of mash left. Here's where the mash goes, probably. Done. Now to boil the mash. Ought to be enough. Time to cool it down. Well, well. I've done I'm quite the distiller. You must be prospering round here, huh? Heard there's silver in them hills. Aye, it's there. Ain't so easy to get it out. Why's that? They ain't too deep in the rock? Nay, hey, there's something in those caves. Something that kills any man that enters. Pickaxe and hand with no This is a terrible cross, will you? You're the sorcerer's booth.
I don't like this. You shouldn't be risking your life for work. You, Fritjof? That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me. Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. Huh. A man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Gremist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him, for old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear them. Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Animal sacrifice? Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way, folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Gremis now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have a to help him with his ritual. Till then.
idea what to make. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a meddler. Suffice to say, and it's a burning matter now. Shoot! Must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, as the base from Moss Gordon and spare from Hail Hell. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transudations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Good. I thought I told you to stay outside. Only dreads in the inner circle. Sharkle Smirkle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Good. Let the lessons begin. Drink hard and study hard. I like the idea. Yeah, yeah. I call it stimulation and assimilation. First you stimulate, and then... <laughs> you assimilate a shutdown. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm, I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this and go. Who said old age is a burden?
Let's go! Come on, Roach. Ugly bastard. Faster. That's it, Roach. Hey, yeah. You! Hey! If Mirella wants something hey. from the continent, I'll go on. Ooh! Show me what to do. Most humbly beg your pardon, but I'm in quite a predicament. See, I'm, I'm a wandering juggler from occupied Temeria and. Temeria? You sure? Not an overgrad. What? 
Why Novigrad? I come from Malibor and... Uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's too short. See, we've met. But you were a respected Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. Oh, but, but I assure you, I... All right, all, all right, you got me. I, I know this all looks bad, but I, I swear I... I'll pay you back, mate. All of it, with with interest. Just please, don't don't take me to the yard. <laughs> Definitely won't get my coin back if I turn you in. But try to cheat me again, and I'll find you. I'll find you, and I'll. Yeah, I ain't lying. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later. be done in a moment. And then a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. <laughs> I say something wrong? You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? 
He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? Aye, like it were yesterday. Off some fell overboard and near drive. I know the the sorcery saved them. Twas the gods directed them. He said the voice commanded them to die. I fear. It's really you, Grimace, made his apprentice. These continental dandies come a strutting, then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Young Aunt Crate, and there's a gallant fella. Killing a giant. Mm, adventure seeker. Wonder where types like that come from. What are you looking for? Amber? Nay. Oh. Uh, you should probably look in the river. The silver or something. You don't understand the thing. Our lad sucked the milk for a chip full of loot. Live with the ways of tossing the shore. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months, then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveller? Hungry? Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her, or near to. Glass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Big Thora and Eirik. Who are Berg Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. It was the Jarl that helped him win Big Thora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crach on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Take care. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> lucky chap you are, then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. Did you say lovely girls? Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. Well, there's Vea, lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, Deborah. There's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though there is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face. If not for that bit of bone rod on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think. Well, none of these lasses are really appealing. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honourable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man Ira. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. <laughs>
swimming like gulls around the waist heap. I'd be sure we showed them. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. Well, I'll have to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. It's not Drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. A fine looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. Left her sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. Any idea why she came here? She say what she was after or just admire the scenery? Just about our yard and his family. She say where she was headed? Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Come on, Roach. Run, Roach. Whoa! Ceres. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What... what happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! Pain's just awful! Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udlerik's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udlerik. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udlerik and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udlerik. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udlerik to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udlerik to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish.
Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki. And he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea. On condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea. Said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udlerik? No chance. Your weak might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about Find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you then. You and my dad. You were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But well, I heard you fell out over something. Or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. 
What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Rain or shine. Winds howling. Where's Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Already bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off.
wondering what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see Udalric. That silver. him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry, a voice said. You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once. I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? The gods... In my dreams. To see the gods is a great... Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gate. I returned the sword. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's beast juries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows and show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. 
might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udlwick. You think that I am... No, but Udlwick... The... And the more... Hmm. The... What? The Hyman... Yes. Ex... Both methods... Don't know that I'm... Con Just... If we fail to think of it... What? Nothing? I'm... Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're as... Take out... What? Yeah. Good. Huh. After you, then. No. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Shattered. Udelrick must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Somebody could break their leg, or their neck. Anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! <laughs> Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the bait. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. Oh, I'm gonna tell you! 
The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You're disoriented. But don't worry, it'll pass. I feel... As if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. It's not fitting to speak up. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life. But then Bran would. Farewell. <laughs>